Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover a project, Personalized Smart Watches with Salesforce CPQ Attributes. We are going to take up the very first unit setup a CPQ enabled all. So as part of this unit challenge, we are uh, we will be creating, uh, we will be signing up for a, CP, a CPQ special edition org. Uh, which is specifically designed in order to have a Salesforce CPQ. So we'll be signing up for that. And we are also going to do some additional setting uh, in order to create configuration attribute in Salesforce uh, CPQ. So without wasting any time, let's quickly uh, sign up, start the process of signing up. So here, if you will scroll down, there is this link or hyperlink a developer edition or with Salesforce CPQ. Click on this. Now here you have to enter all of your details uh, like name, first name, last name, email address, etc. So I'm going to fill out mine. Email address you have to fill yours. Select the role, company, country, and postal code. Username you have to give here as a unique username. So I'm giving out mine. Make sure it is unique. Select this checkbox and click on sign me up. So it usually take time, or maybe a minute or two, or sometimes five to six minutes as well. So we are just going to wait over here uh, until we get the email of, for verification of our newly created org for which we have just signed up. And we have to verify that. Uh, so let's just wait. Once we get email, uh, we'll proceed further. So right now I'll check my email. Right now we do not have any such email to verify my account. So let's just wait over here. So it took about five to six minutes to receive this email. Uh, so finally I've got this verification email. So you have to click on this verify account button and this will lead you to the page where you have to set up the password and security question. So here I'm going to add that. Click on change password. And this will make you logged in into your uh, developer edition sales for CPQ org. Now the next step is we have to connect this org to our trailhead account. So to do that, you have to go back to your uh, unit page and go to challenge. Now here there is this uh, option over here where you can find three dots. Click on this and click on connect org option below. Here you have it will lead you to the login page where you have to fill out the details, the username and password. So username you can find that on your uh, email which you just received, and password which we have just set few minutes back. Click on login. Now it will ask certain permission, so you have to simply click on allow. And next thing it will ask whether you want to save this or for future challenges, or you will, uh, every time you, you want to log in again and again. So I'm going to keep this as yes, save it. So we do not have the hustle to log in every time. Now, if you will go to challenge again, and there you will find we have successfully connected our org to this trailhead account. Now, the next thing is we have to enable some additional setting in order to configure attributes. So for that, you have to launch your account, uh, launch your trailhead playground. And once you have done that, you have to go to your system admin profile. So let's just, uh, so in order, so the quickest way to go to system admin profile is you will find your username over here. You can either go through this way or you can just in quick find search for profiles, click on profile, and this will take you to the list of all the profiles present in your org. And you have to go to S alphabet, open the system admin profile, configure attribute. So I'm going to copy this again 
And let's just see if I'll get this option. So there it is. It was under this setting, record type setting. We have to go up here and click on edit. Select both of these and move it to selected record types. So we are just making the configured attribute and global attribute record type available to system admin profile users. And make sure the default record type selected over here is configure attribute. That's all you have to do over here. Click on save. So this setting will be saved. Now next up, we have to go to install packages where we have to enable product drop product option drawer and this simply is a setting which we will find uh, once we configure our salesforce cpq package so for that you have to again go to quick find and type installed packages select this install packages and here this will give you the list of all the packages installed here the, you will find salesforce cpq is already installed and you have to click on configure against this now go to additional setting and here you will find that there is this option enable product option drawer. You have to select this. So for uh, global attributes and configure attributes, it is very important that you make this setting enabled. Otherwise you will not be able to have a globe or you will not be able to see global attributes in action. So we'll see in the further uh, videos uh, what actually uh, product option drawer does and what it is. Uh, so for as of now, we are good with our additional setting. Just click on save button and this setting will get saved. So our setting has been enabled and uh, both of the settings we have enabled and saved as well. Now it's time to check whether we have passed this step of a project or not. Click on verify step to earn 100 points button and let's just wait. There you go. This unit is completed. See you in the next video with another unit of this project. Till then, take care. Thank you so much.